Greetings, everybody. It is I, the hands of Good Will Hunter, and we have a package. It's not a PS3, and it is in Japanese, so that can only mean it came from Soft Otaku. Yes, uh, we did a trade, and uh, you know how it is if you do a, a package from Japan, the uh, what is it, the uh, Japanese registered uh, mail it takes forever to get to the United States, so um, about a month ago I think he sent it, and I finally got it, buddy. So let's go ahead and open this sucker. Uh, you'll notice it's filmed in the style of Soft Otaku. Um, unfortunately, my camera's broke, so it's on the iPhone right now that's actually rubber banded to my tripod, set aside on the backdrop of this couch. So let's crack it open and see what we got. No idea what's in here. So let's make sure we can get this on camera just in case it's a bomb. It's not a bomb. I know it's not a bomb. I wouldn't send anyone bomb. Why would I even say that? All right. This is interesting tape. It's like almost medical style tape. Come on. All right. We got that. Let's get this page over here. I don't want to. I don't even know what's inside. I know some of the stuff, or at least one of the things. Um, come on. Come on. I want to ruin the box. I could reuse it. Sure everyone likes them all. Maybe I won't be able to save this box. We are into the box. And here are some <laughs> some odds and ends inside. Let's see, what do we have? It looks like we have... Oh, alright. It's Violator, and he was holding a card for Tiffany and Company. Uh... Apparently, it's, you know, in uh, jewelry. You can see it right there. Probably can't read it. It's fine. Uh, so, here we go. Finally. Woohoo! Let's see if we can't focus on that. Woohoo! I wanted to send more extras, but A, I couldn't find them. B, the box was full. C, I'm a lazy jerk. Or D, all of the above. And looks like he circled that one. Thanks again for the box of goodies you sent in 2000 and... Focus. Focus. Focus? 2007. Love, Soft Otaku. Uh... Something. I can't read that. On the way. More on the way, I think, is what it says. Um, so yes. We have Violator. He's all bendy. Whee! I'm a bendy guy. This is from Spawn. I didn't know they had a black one. I thought he was gray. But whatever. Yar! I'm gonna bite you kids if you don't uh, eat your vegetables and stuff. I don't know. It's pretty weird, but it's pretty cool. It's all like bendy and stuff. Remember when toys like Gumby? They had all like the wire inside. You can pose them. It's cool. We'll actually put them on. Uh, Put them right back there. They'll be chilling. On the back. You can't really see it. Focus. Alright. Um, what I really wanted was I have a Super Famicom, but I did not have any Super Fam controllers. Super Fam. Did I call them Super Fam? No. Super Famicom. So he found me a couple, or he had a couple, and uh, he threw my life. Awesome, awesome sauce. Um, here's one, another one, a little extra. Looks like it's from, uh, I believe it's called, uh, Initial D. Um, it is a, I believe it's like a manga series. It started out as a manga, and, um, it's a little race car. But, uh, it's kind of like a soap opera, but with cars. And he works for, like, a delivery service or something, or he delivers food for a living. Um, and some of the stories, and he has to, like, he has to battle or fight them, but really it's just racing them, and, um, it has come out, I believe they have a game for the PS3, um, I think they have one for the PS2, and I don't think they ever came out on the PS2 over here in North America, but it looks like it's from a company called Dido. That's pretty cool. And it is the, for all you... Car Freaks, Mr. Dude 206. It's an MR2G Limited SW20. Is that how much kind of oil it takes? Does he think? Do 
They look like I can put oil in there. I don't know. Well, pretty cool. And I do like the color. Purple is a good color. It's not my favorite, but it's a color. Focus on the box. Come on. Get back in frame. We're doing this right. I've seen many of his videos, so I know how to do this. Ah, what's this? Right off the bat, it is a boxed copy of Vertical Force for the Virtual Boy. I have a loose copy, and I don't really have too many boxed copies. The only other boxed copy I have is actually right over here. Actually, I lied. I do have a couple other ones. I have, um, I believe this is Baseball 95, and it's, I don't know if they had this one in North America. I think this might have just been uh, Japan only. Um, I know we had a baseball game, but I don't know if it was this exact one. Um, the only other one that I have, which is not related to this video, is Jack Rose. It's another import. Yes, I know. It's not the North American one, so it's not worth a lot of money. But still, I found this for a decent price on eBay, so it just goes to show you can find good deals. But we're talking about Vertical Force, which is a uh, shooter on the Virtual Boy, and what it does is you have these different, uh, you can either drop down or raise up your ship, so there's like two different playing fields that you can play on, and uh, if you can read any of that, go right ahead, I'll pause. Okay, seven minutes in, not too, too bad. Oh, sweet. So we have this, it's a PC Engine uh, two button controller with the turbo. And uh, it's like he must have either had an extra one or found one while thrifting at Heart Off. Ah, here we go. This must be one of the ones that he had extras of because him and the wife we're very addicted. I'm kind of curious to see which one it is. These are little kind of grab bags. They have, uh, let's see, who do I have? Uh-oh. It's actually one of the one of the better characters, I believe, on that show. Let's put it together. So, we got this little stand here. Um, speak. Go right there. Body goes right here. Uh-oh, do you know who it is? Oh, and look at that. He's got a little greeting card. Focus. Can you read it? Anyways, it says I choo choo choose you, which is a dead indication it's from Ralphie. That's Ralph Wiggum. My cat's name's Mittens. Uh -huh, I beat the smart kids. I beat the smart kids. Dope. I bent my Wookie. Yes. The beloved simpleton Ralph Wiggum. Focus. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? Ooh. Looks like we got a PS1 game. Ah, the Intelligent Cube. Which I believe is a rather obscure uh, PlayStation 1 game. It was released in North America, and it's uh, a puzzle game where you have to move these blocks by flipping them, and you have to flip them, and it's it's a thinking man's game. But, uh, yeah, awesome. I, I've, seen, I've seen it before, but I've never played it. Um, so that's cool to have for my uh, PlayStation 1 debug system, so I'll definitely have to try that out and uh, I'll have to get some footage of it as well. It's rather interesting. It's got a pretty pretty thick manual. Um, and the case itself, it's a lot thicker than 
um, a regular PlayStation 1 game. So, Intelligent Cube for the PlayStation, PlayStation 1. Ah, woo hoo hoo! Maxi Single. I don't know what that is, but uh, let's take a look. It is a CD. I believe it's just a CD. And is it open? I think it does open. Oh, I forgot. Dirt. It's Japan, it opens the other way. It looks to be from a stock of some sorts. I don't know if you could have rented this. Um, oh, it's right there. J-pop. So this is pop music from Japan. I'll have to uh, put this on in the background. Maybe I can get away with it, but probably not uh, because I'm sure it'll be flagged. Even if it is an import, that's cool. Will it even play? Can you play import CDs? I'm sure you can. That's probably a stupid question. Ugh. Oh, sweet. All-time favorite fighting game on the PS1, hands down, is Tekken 3. This just is the best. And you can see PlayStation says it's the best. PlayStation, the best which is the greatest hits version uh, in Japan. So I'm excited to see if there's any differences as far as uh, modes or gameplay. I doubt there is, but this is always a fun, fun game. Um, I love playing the volleyball on this one. The volleyball, me and my friends would play all the time and uh, it now we got boring. Um, Tekken mode was fun because it was like a beat em up and then you had to like fight people at the end of the level from the game so that's cool but you know a game that I would be able to play it's kind of cool character bios I'm sure that the uh, I'm sure the North American one uh, you know the artwork is maybe the same you can even see it says it's the best it is the best probably by far the best Tekken Tekken 2 is pretty good Tekken 1 is a little bit, you know, whatever. Um, but everything after, I wasn't really a fan of. Maybe Tekken 5 was pretty good, but definitely, definitely Tekken 3. Deserving the best. He just keeps coming! Uh-oh. Now, not really sure. I'm going to say this is... Uh, Crash Bandicoot Warped, which I believe is Crash Bandicoot 3. And I think I would be right, but again, I think the three is a dead giveaway. And also, yeah, that's fine, says it too. So. Another great, great uh, mascot that just kind of went into obscurity from uh, PlayStation. And they started, Naughty Dog started it, and uh, yeah, Crash just kind of went away. I don't know, he came back in Crash Bash, or not Crash Bash, but uh, PlayStation All-Stars, I believe. I don't know, I haven't played it, but I wouldn't see why he wouldn't if Parappa the Rappa came back. Crash had to come back. But, again, could be wrong. Look at he's on a dinosaur. So much different than the, the uh, North American one. Alright, so this is the main thing that we did a trade for. It is a, I don't know if you can read that, it's a PC Engine Duo uh, with a Super CD-ROM 2. Um, I already have the PC Engine Duo R, um, and he did tell me that the audio uh, caps on this one, it does not have audio right now, um, but I know I can probably fix it, and uh, I like it. So yeah, no hookups, just the console itself. But uh, yeah, it looks in really good condition. You know, aside from, you know, probably it was loved at one point, but you know, as time went on, it's, uh, you know, kind of just fell to the waysides. But so that is, I believe, controller. You've got uh, power, your um, 
I'm sorry, your headphones, the volume for your headphones, and uh, power in the back. So, yep, I will definitely get this thing up and running, and we will we will salvage this for it needs to be done. But uh, yeah, I like the black actually a lot better. Oh, I'm sorry. This must. I'm sorry. This is for AV. That is your controller port in the front. So, unfortunately, yep, you need a multi-tap again with this one because you can't. That's where your hue cards go. This is where your Super CD-ROM games go. So, awesome. Excited to have this and looking forward to getting it working. And he threw in... It's like he threw in some... I don't even know if this is yen. A ten... Ten piece. And maybe this is one yen. This is 10 yen? I don't know. Which could be. Probably is. Um, I know a lot of other foreign countries put a lot of their single denominations uh, in coins. So. Awesome. I will add it to all the other foreign money that I have. And last, but certainly not least, it wouldn't be a package if it didn't contain some sort of food. Looks like we have... I don't know what these are. Maybe a mint? Feels like it could be a mint. And these... I don't know. It looks like it could be... Pomegranate? No, it's not. I'm sorry. This one... Probably won't focus. It's tomato... Like to pin collagen... So I guess this is tomato flavored. This one doesn't say what it is. But uh, yeah, I'm sure it's probably interesting. But we have tomato, which I think he sent a tomato gum to a lot of people. Whoops. And uh, not sure what that one is. But we'll have to try those, but not right now. This video is going on way too long. Um, whoops, here goes the box. So again, Shakutaku, thank you for everything. Um, you didn't have to send all that. Uh, I do appreciate it, and especially the controllers. I think it's just awesome. They look so much better than the stupid North American ones. Um, but as always, uh, I will try to put out more videos, but again, I told you, camera is broken. It is taped, not taped, it's duct taped, not duct taped, rubber banded, that's it, to the tripod. So you'll get this. That guy, he's going to haunt me tonight in my dreams. But Goodwill Hunter, peace. I'm out. Um, I have to go do things. I don't know what, but this is way too long, and you need to go to bed. So, goodbye.